Yo, 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 everybody, this is Mini Movies Reborn here with another Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness walkthrough. Today, again, we're gonna still be in Fennec City, still getting the Cypher people out of Fennec City. For some reason, there are so, so many people here. But, uh, right before we do anything, I wanna go to these one, one of these Poke Spots. Because, as it turns out, one of my spot monitors, turns out it's not there. Wrong one, sorry. One of these spot monitors went off, so I'm gonna go see what Pokemon is waiting for me. And one of those darn Sandshrews. Now I don't like Sandshrews. I don't know why. Just they're very basic. Like anybody can catch a Sandshrew. God of War, Curlia. All right, let's see. I don't know. Sing, confusion. Let's try Sing. Come on, work. And it worked. Ah, uh, it worked way better. Way better. Way better than I thought it would be. Right, let's see. Yeah. Luckily, there's no one to call him out of sleep, so we'll confuse him. Or use a confusion attack, not literally confuse him. See how much damage this does. Wow. Wow. Either he has low special defense or my Curlia is tops. Well, anyway, you know, might as well catch it since we're already here. It's asleep and it's really weak, so let's just catch it. And it's mine. One, two, three. Three and it's mine. It's it's funny because when you, know, you when you snag Pokemon, there's actually a different uh, uh, a different cutscene than when you normally catch Pokemon. Like it goes for the classic Pokemon catching thing. Uh, if you catch a wild Pokemon, you know like the oh my gosh I'm gonna catch it kind of thing. That didn't even make sense. It didn't make sense. Oh, another spot monitor is responding. Which one is it this time? Just so I make sure. Ah, oh, it's the cave one this time. Good. Very nice. Alrighty. Let's go to the cave. Now, sometimes, uh, one of your spot monitors will go off. It's actually going to be a Munchlax. And yeah, ah, uh, see? Just as I was saying it, a Munchlax. And it's Munchlax. It actually, you cannot catch it. it owns, it's owned by this woman. And she owns like an herb shop, and she'll give you free Poke Snacks if Munchlax eats your Poke Snacks. It's almost ridiculous how many Poke Snacks she gives you. She gives you ten, and I'm guessing Munchlax only ate two. And on top of all that, she gives you herbs. So it's like a good trade. He eats two of your Poke Snacks, you get ten in return and some herbs. Yeah, Munchlax, screw you. But also, thank you for eating my Poke Snacks and making this poor old lady give all of her personal possessions to me. Yeah, run away. Run away. Uh, putting those Poke Snacks there. Back to Fennec City. Why is my re retarded? I swear to God, if this keeps doing this, I'm gonna have to like get new recording software. Cannot keep recording stuff like this. Alright, let's go into the pre-gym and finish off the rest of these people. I'm pretty sure there's not even that many people left. I think it's like just one. Yeah, this final Justy. It's kind of funny. He said he says he's the real fake Justy. That, that, that didn't even make sense. It didn't make sense. Alright, Cypher Peon Faustin. That sounds, I don't know, normal. Normal, as with most names, they sound retarded, but this one sounds more normal than usual. Kadabra and Sneasel. Good thing I got my Sharpedo. Sharpedo. If you guys didn't watch the last episode, um, you will you will have you will be surprised to see that I do in fact have a Sharpedo because last last episode I got my Sharpedo and that fake out is gonna make him flinch. Um, something else I uh, have been discussing with you people for like two episodes right about now is that I am uh, not sure as to what Pokemon I want to have in the sixth slot of my uh, of my team. So I'm giving that opportunity to y'all. I actually already have some votes as to put Lugia on my team. I'm not too sure about that. That would be a long wait, but then again, you, you never know. You never know. So, right now I got some votes for Lugia, I got a vote for Shiftry. I don't know, I don't know bro. But, th again, you guys have like, I don't know, three, three episodes until I choose which Pokemon I want to have on my team. So, just keep thinking about that, you know, be cool. 
give you all something to do while you're watching the video. Think of a Pokemon I could use, and that Shockwave did crap damage. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna keep that Sneasel asleep, so clearly I can rack up damage on it while uh, Sharpedo owns his uh, Psychic and Ghost types. Alright, let's see what you got. Uh, Meowth, that is gonna be a Shadow Pokemon. I know for a fact that that is gonna be a Shadow Pokemon. Yep. Yep. As a matter of fact, I think that Meowth is actually from uh, the ship that crashed, you know, the SS Libra. Alright, more shock waves. More shock waves. Yeah, still not even doing that much damage. It'll take like, I don't know, roughly six hits with that. So I'll switch off and have Sharpedo kill the Sneasel. And I'll have my Curlia put me out to sleep. Hopefully that works out. Alright, come on. Oh crap, no Shadow Rush. Oh no, bro. Oh yeah, attack Sharpedo. Never mind, it's not not that bad. Alright, sing. Yay! It hit! This is, like, every time I've used Sing so far, it has hit. That is gorgeously awesome. And I'll just hopefully I won't hit Meowth. Okay, Icy Wind. Rawr, 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 rawr. What in the hell? Why did it do that much damage? What in the hell? No! 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 Crap! Don't kill it! Don't kill it! Don't kill it! Uh, hopefully this shockwave is weak, but I don't, I, oh. Oh, holy crap, it's alive. Thank God. Oh, let's use reflect. Holy crap. That is ridiculously close. I mean, look at that. Look at that. That is, oh, oh, give me a heart attack. Hoo, 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 hoo. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Alright, so I got me a Meowth. Got me a Meowth. Alright, Faustin, I stole your Shadow Pokemon and now you can just go be a idiot somewhere. Oh, that was a bad that was a bad thing. But anyway, you can actually not get in that elevator right now because as a matter of fact, you do not have the elevator key. And you'll get that through a boss battle, but for right now, we'll do some stuff stuff. See, actually, a guy up here that if you went up here before, uh, he would have told you that you cannot go up there because they're repairing something and it's dangerous. But now that they know that uh, I know who they are, it's actually a Cyper Peon, and his name is Greg. Greg, seriously. All right, I'm just probably gonna have to stop making fun of their names because it's too easy. But then again, you never know. I could just keep making fun of them. All right, looks like I got the drop on his Torkoal with my Sharpedo. So let's use Shockwave and Water Pulse. Ah, oh, crap! Who's he faking out? Ah, good. It's just, just Curlia, because Curlia is not the main main muscle of my team. Kind of idiotic hitting Curlia instead. I don't know why. Why? Why would you do that? Because I mean, your Torkoal is in danger of getting killed in one shot, which it did. Sharpedo leveling up once more. Very gorgeous swine up. Wonder if that's a shadow Pokemon. I would like to have a Mimos, not a Mamo swine, but a Pillow swine. And it turns out, yeah, it is a shadow Pokemon. All right. Hmm. That's something to consider. I see wind. We'll almost take care of that Nuzleaf. Ah, I didn't even want to hit that swine up anyway. Ooh, that did do some massive damage. Very nice. Oh, and Swine up no Shadow Wave. No, that is nothing to worry about right now, as long as Curlia can take it. But I know you can take it, good if I Curlia thing. Alright, sing. Wait a minute, I just realized it hit again. That is awesome. That is awesome. Bro. Oh, crap. Why did it dig? I know for a fact that he is going to uh, probably hit uh, Gardevoir. So it'd probably be a good idea to get Gardevoir out of there or Curlia and replace it for, you know, a Pokemon that's about Holy crap, Meowth had one health left. Holy crap. I see wind. Ooh, and that does some pretty good damage. Cause Swine Up is actually part ground. So uh ice on ice and then ice on ground is super effective. So it just nullifies itself out. Dig. Oh no, why did he go for Sharpedo? That's weird. That's weird. 
Whatever, I'll just shadow rush. Icy wind. Ah, oh, crap, I just realized that Meowth is still asleep. So he is not going to be of any help for, to me right now. Alright, super effective hit. Nuzleaf is out of there. Sorry, Nuzleaf. Yeah, I forgot. He's still asleep. Sorry, bro. Oh, crap. Don't screw up on me. Shadow Rush. Great Ball. Darn you, software. Okay, Snag Ball. One throw. Grab. Snag. Oh, gosh. This is making me mad. I can't even tell. Ah, I caught it. That's... That's good. Hopefully, my software, I'm just gonna have to, like, smack my computer or something. Smack it upside the head. Darn you! No! Okay. Uh, there we go. It should That should fix it. Yeah, okay. Now, I think we're fixed. I think we're good. Anyway, now we're in the uh, tournament area of the, of Fennec City. The Fennec City tournament area. I don't know what you, what you would call it. Uh, it would probably be best if I swapped out my Pokemon, because it looks like they are taking some heavy damage. Um, let us heal Sharpedo, so he's back in fighting tip-top performance. And we'll fight these two grunts, and the boss is actually in the middle. You can't see him right now. We will fight him in the next episode, because I'm pretty sure these two fights will take up the rest of my time. We shall see. We shall see. Alright, a Pelipper. Ooh, getting serious. Level 2, baby. And Electric. Unluckily for you, though, I've got an Ampharos. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Thunder Punch, Pelipper, and Crunch. Hopefully, this will take out that Electric in one hit. Mm, yes. Ah. Sorry, Electric. You just suck. Yeah, that's, uh, that's it. You just suck. It's not your fault. It's your parents' fault. Spiro, that is probably going to be the Shadow Pokemon. Yes, it is. Haha. -ha. Normal flying. Thunder Punch. This one's for you, Craig. Thunder Punch. Insta kill. That was the Craig Thunder Punch of death. Alright, looks like. He doesn't have anything left. Let's use something. I, I don't think I should hit him with Sharpedo because, you know, Sharpedo might kill Spiro in one hit. That's the bad thing about having a uh, really strong Pokemon. And this is actually the first time you're going to get introduced to Shadow Panic. And that causes both of the enemy's Pokemon to become confused. Luckily, Sharpedo um, avoided that attack and Ampharos didn't get hit in his confusion. So, huzzah, huzzah. Alright, now let's use something that's not going to kill it. I just don't know what. Let's just throw a Great Ball. Hopefully that'll catch it. And we'll just keep using Screech, because I just don't want to kill a Spiro. So, throw, and damn it, my software is screwing up again. This is retarded. I am so sorry, everybody. Forgive me, please. Three, and got it. Wow, that was that went better than expected. That was strange. Whatever, I thank it. I thank you, God. Yeah. Goodbye, Eason. Yeah, you did get beaten by some little kid. I'm sorry, you just suck like that. Alright, now, this final guy, right here, is not, So, yeah, you're just, you're just gonna take over the world, and it's just for my own good. It's all... Oh, that totally makes sense. Faultly. It's your faultly. That was that was a good joke, I actually. I actually think that was a good joke. Stantler, that is actually a very tough normal type Pokemon. You actually get it as a shadow Pokemon in the first Pokemon Coliseum. Very nice. Oh yeah, that reminds me, there's actually gonna be a new Pokemon game coming out. I don't know I don't know what system it's for. I think it's for the DS. Uh it's called uh what's it? Pokemon Conquest. Yeah. Look that up. It's actually pretty interesting. I I haven't looked it up yet, but from what I hear at GameStop, it is going to be pretty snazzy. Alright, now that's a Grimer. That looks like it's going to be a Shadow Pokemon. It could possibly be one. Yes. Yes, it is. Huzzah. You're a Grimer. That's what you are. You're a Grimer. And Leer. That's like a basic move. Why would you still have Leer at this level? 
Thunder Punch. Ah, you can't even survive that. Never mind. You're not. You're not a strong normal type Pokemon. You're a weak normal type Pokemon. Thunder Wave and Icy Wind. Since Icy Wind is the weakest move I have, I will use it on this Shadow Pokemon. And it turns out that's a little. That's on the. That's a little bit too much on the weak side. But nevertheless, I will paralyze it, and that should be enough to catch it. Should be enough. Yep, you're paralyzed. You cannot move. I got the drop on you. Great ball and icy wind once more, just in case he gets out. So throw, grab, and snag. Da da da. One, two, three, and I got it. Yes, yes. Well, anyway. All right, guys. Looks like it's the end of this episode. Next episode, we'll be fighting the boss, which he's kind of weird. Um, keep, put more, keep putting the thought into what Pokemon you, you think I should have for the sixth slot in my party. Uh, if you like my videos, throw me a like, comment, subscribe. I would totally appreciate that. And I will see you guys in the next episode.